All right, guys, taking a look at our spelling packet, we're just going to the very next page and we are going ahead in spelling words. This time they don't have a theme really. They're just kind of different words that we've seen in the packet before. So hopefully you'll be able to spell these correctly since this is not the first time that we've seen these. Um, go ahead and see if you can do the copyright cover. So you'll look at the word. The word is walk. I'm going to go ahead and spell it here. Now I'm going to cover it and I'm going to try to spell walk again without looking. Voila, I've got it. So I'll read the rest for you. We have walk, dollar, Wednesday, doesn't, alert, night, crowd, sigh, folk, and mirror. Which one of these words is a proper noun? And how do you know? What makes it a proper noun? Remember to pause the video at any time if you need a little bit of time to think or say something out loud. Hopefully you said our proper noun is Wednesday because it begins with a capital letter. Remember, proper nouns are people, places, things, ideas that are capitalized because we're talking about something specific. The name of the day of the week, the name of a person, the name of a city. Which one of these words here um, is a contraction? And what is a contraction? Hopefully you said doesn't is a contraction and a contraction is where we take two words. We usually take out a letter or two. We smush them together and we put an apostrophe between those words. So doesn't used to be what two words does and not perfect. So all you're going to do now is fold the paper on the dotted line so you can't see the list. You can also just cover it with another piece of paper if you need to. Then fill in the missing words in the story below. So on hmm. I went for a and found a on the sidewalk. I put it in my pocket, but that I decided that wasn't the right thing to do. I let out a long and the next day I put it back where I found it. So start out by doing the ones you know and then see whatever is left over. You don't have 10 spaces here. So Every word is going to be used only once, but you'll have a bunch of words left over and you'll just have to choose the best one that fits in the blank. So for example, the first one, what would we put if I'm saying on and then I've got a comma? This would be like an introductory phrase here. On walk, on dollar, on Wednesday, on dozen, on alert, on night, on crowd, on sigh, on folk, on mirror. If you said on Wednesday, you're absolutely correct. That's the only one that's going to fit here. The rest didn't really make any sense. Pay attention to the comma. Remember, we looked at um, different introductory phrases. Like if you say finally or on Sunday or next week, you want to put a comma after that where we have a little pause. All right, see if you can figure out the rest on your own. Have a great rest of your day. Remember to create a portfolio assignment in Class Dojo to ask a question if you need help from me with this. Have a good one.